In a chilling turn of events, 18-year-old Mackenzie Sharilla transformed what should have been a teenage romance into a nightmarish tragedy. In a horrifying act of violence, she deliberately crashed her car at 100 miles per hour, killing her boyfriend, Dominic Russo, and his friend, Davion Flanagan. Just days after the fatal crash, Mackenzie shocked everyone by partying in a club dressed in a bizarre corpse outfit. This left the community grappling with a disturbing question. Was this a monstrous, premeditated murder? Dominic Russo and Davion Flanagan were brutally killed in the crash. Mackenzie, who was Dominic's girlfriend, survived with injuries. But behind her seemingly innocent facade lay a darker, more calculating side. CCTV footage and police investigations revealed that the crash was premeditated, leading to Mackenzie's arrest. The community is left wondering, what could have driven her to such a heinous act after a three-year relationship? And how could she be so callous as to disregard Davion Flanagan, who only needed a ride home? Before we delve further, our deepest condolences go out to the families of Dominic Russo and Davion Flanagan for their tragic loss. In late July 2022, the town of Strongsville, Ohio, was filled with anticipation as the graduating seniors looked forward to their futures. Dominic Russo, 19, was one of these hopefuls. He was an ambitious young man with dreams of starting his own clothing line and a love for basketball. Davian Flanagan, also 19, had faced a tough childhood, spending time in foster care due to his parents' addiction. Despite this, he was determined to make something of himself, with aspirations of attending Barber College and opening his own shop. Tragically, their futures were cut short. Dominic and Davion were killed in a high-speed crash orchestrated by Mackenzie Sharilla, Dominic's girlfriend. Mackenzie appeared to be a typical teenage girl, often posting reckless and inappropriate content on TikTok. Her behavior hinted at trouble including frequent displays of irresponsible actions and a troubling lack of empathy. Her tumultuous relationship with Dominic was marked by frequent arguments and reconciliations, revealing a pattern of narcissism and cruelty. On July 17, 2022, Mackenzie was driving her Toyota Camry with Dominic as her passenger. During an argument, Dominic tried to call for help from his mother and a friend, but Mackenzie threatened to crash the car. The friend arrived to find Mackenzie hitting Dominic and threatening him. The deteriorating relationship was evident in a recorded argument where Mackenzie degraded Dominic. Despite seeking help, Dominic's situation grew more dire. The tragedy culminated on July 31, 2022, when Mackenzie drove her Camry into a building at 100 miles per hour. Dominic and Davion were killed instantly, while Mackenzie was found unconscious and taken to the hospital in critical condition. If this story resonates with you, please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on similar crime stories. The community was heartbroken by the loss of Dominic Russo and Davion Flanagan, who were seen as integral parts of their lives. In response to the tragedy, GoFundMe pages were quickly set up to support the families and cover medical expenses. While Mackenzie Sharilla was recovering, she publicly mourned Dominic's death on social media. However, suspicion grew when it was discovered that Mackenzie and her mother had been seeking employment with a modeling agency shortly after the crash. Court evidence revealed that despite her supposed health issues, Mackenzie was seen driving a car soon after the incident showing little remorse for the lives lost. This revelation cast doubt on the initial belief that the crash was merely an unfortunate accident. On October 31, 2022, three months after the crash, Mackenzie celebrated Halloween with friends, dressing up as a corpse. This unsettling choice came just months after losing her boyfriend, and she even dressed as drank, symbolizing the substance abuse linked to the crash. The investigation uncovered evidence of illicit substances in the crashed car, with Mackenzie's blood testing positive for THC, suggesting she might have been driving under the influence. 
The legal situation shifted dramatically when Mackenzie was charged with double homicide just five days after her Halloween party. Mackenzie's defense argued that she lost control of the car, portraying her as a young and irresponsible driver. Despite her expressions of grief and claims of memory loss regarding the crash, she sought to regain her memories through hypnosis. As the legal proceedings continued, the central question remained. Was the crash a tragic accident or a premeditated act of murder? Mackenzie's memory loss added complexity to the case, leaving the truth uncertain. However, police and prosecutors believed her actions were deliberate. CCTV footage from the crash site, along with the car's data, contradicted the idea that Mackenzie was merely reckless or under the influence. The footage showed a drastic change in driving behavior, with a sudden and purposeful acceleration into a building. This shift suggested a calculated plan rather than an accident. Mackenzie's familiarity with the Strongsville Progress Drive Business Park, along with her cell phone records, indicated that she had planned the crash. She had visited the area beforehand and chose an early morning time to minimize witnesses. Tragically, Davion was an unintended victim, simply needing a ride home. Mackenzie's disregard for Davion's life was evident as she treated him as inconsequential. Even during her court statement, she needed to be reminded of his death. The judge's description of Mackenzie as literal hell on wheels highlighted the severity of her actions. The trial underscored how one person's decisions can irrevocably impact many lives, taking Dominic and Davion's futures away. This case serves as a stark reminder of the profound effects our choices can have on others. The evidence clearly showed that Mackenzie acted with intent and purpose. Her actions on that fateful day were deliberate, controlled, and driven by a singular goal. This was not a case of reckless driving, but of murder. After reviewing all the evidence, the court found Mackenzie guilty on two counts the murder of Dominic Russo, and the murder of Davian Flanagan. Despite this, Mackenzie and her mother continued to assert their innocence. Mackenzie's mother expressed her deep grief and disbelief, recounting the agonizing moments after the accident and emphasizing their love for Davian. She also clarified that Mackenzie did not have access to her phone at the time of the accident, as the police had taken it. Mackenzie's mother clarified that her comments defending Mackenzie on social media were not related to a modeling opportunity, but were meant to prevent people from labeling her daughter as a murderer. She strongly denied any intention on Mackenzie's part to harm anyone. Mackenzie was ultimately sentenced to two concurrent 15 to life terms, making her eligible for parole in 15 years. Reactions to the sentence were mixed. Some members of the victim's families felt the punishment was unfair, while others believed justice had been served. They expressed their deep sorrow over the loss of their loved ones, noting that there were no true winners in this tragic case. The complexity of the situation meant that opinions varied. Some argued that Mackenzie's actions pointed to premeditated murder, while others saw it as a tragic accident. Despite the differing viewpoints, the court's verdict found her guilty of murder based on the evidence presented. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.